What's going on guys? Ma with Jacqueline Games here bringing you uh, my top four uh, Boba Snoke deck um, that I got fourth place with at the Mary Sithmas tournament in Pensacola, Florida this past Saturday. Um, I went four and one. My only loss was to Duplo Padawan. Um, and I was just really sad. Uh, There's just too many dice. I couldn't do anything about it. But yeah, so the pairing uh, is uh, Boba Fett, Snoke, and with Frozen Waste is, is essentially just replace, I replaced Cad Bane with Boba because also the special gave some versatility against like uh, Shadowcaster and just big dice in, in general. Um, this was like super clutch throughout the whole tournament, uh, was, was super great. I claimed, there wasn't almost any time that I did not claim the battlefield except for whenever I put them in a spot to, um, they had to like give up all their actions to, to claim and come out of a situation which still put me way ahead. Um, I played the, the standard um, eight guns, LL30, Holdout, uh, X8, and Hidden Blaster. Um, my favorite gun is probably X8 because it's the most versatile, but um, I do like LL30 a lot, especially because they're yellow dice. Um, they, allow, they give you access to things like uh, Take Flight and things like that. Um, with just playing 8, I don't play any other upgrades in the deck. Um, I usually uh, start out with at least one gun to two guns every hand. That's over there. Next we'll get into our mitigation, or just things that keep up, keep us alive. This is actually a little different than Hyper Aggro because I do play quite a bit. Um, this is the most expensive one. I play two Bagao. Bagao came up um, maybe like three times. Uh, this kind of feels like a better entangle play um, where you're forcing them to do a lot more with, uh, with less after that. Um, play two Hidden Motives and uh, two Hasty Exits. Uh, Hasty Exit, like I said, I claimed the battlefield almost about 99% of the time. Uh, hidden motive was good to just get me out of the unique spots, but there was a lot of hyper aggro there and things like that So it didn't Really see a lot of play, but it was there and I was happy to have access to it um, I also played two overconfidence um, I really went back and forth on this card, but it turned out to be one of the better cards that I, I left in and included I was gonna it was kind of in between this or isolation um but I like the fact that I could reroll one of my dice as well if I had a big dice out there or something like that. Or I guess a Yoda, you know, roll a gun dice or something, uh, whatever it may be. Then I played two Force Illusions. Uh, we kind of expected a lot of hyper aggro going into the game or going into the tournament. And I saw it and it came in super clutch all, all day. I didn't see it against the Duplo, um, but he had like 30 dice by like turn three, so... Not much you could do. <laughs> and then the MVP was uh, def to deflect. Um, I think def deflect's a great card. I hate when it's used against me, so it can kind of die and burn in the fire. Uh, <laughs> but also, I love that, that I have access to it. Um, it won me all but the, the um, every game except for the one I lost. <laughs> Because every, every deck except for that one played uh, ranged, and I was able to out aggro them by removing their damage and dealing it back at them, so it was really good. Um, and then last is our action cheating, uh, which is two fast hands, which this, came, this card, I was only playing one, and I switched it out for two, because uh, it just works so well to have access with uh, two four speeds and then two quick draws. To have access to uh, all of these cards, I think is essential for the deck to kind of keep up with, because uh, there's, there's a lot of other decks out there that are a lot faster than this deck. So for it to be able to keep pace with it, I think that this is like an essential like uh, loadout for it, kind of like the guns, like it's just normal. <clears throat> and the last uh, cards were two take flight. This card was absolutely insane because I play four guns and you know Boba so that's six dice that I automatically are able to reroll and then just kind of go in for more damage and then the best card in the whole deck is bait and switch 
because who doesn't like to bait switch and win the game? <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, if I had to change anything, it'd probably be hidden modus for something that could progress my my damage. Uh, maybe like a cunning ruse or something to just like roll dice and deal damage. Uh, just hand damage in general. Just kind of put it over the top. Um, but yeah, other than that, I I had a lot of fun with the deck. Uh, it's called Dark Place. Um, and testing was really good. And hopefully we can have some more gameplay out with it soon. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing this at the Birmingham Regional. But um, I'm super excited for it. So, uh, did you have any questions, James? Uh, really the only question that I had was do you think there's anything that you could have done against the Duplo Padawans or was it just too many dice for you to handle? Um, mostly it was just too many dice to handle. Uh, round one I killed one Padawan and dropped four damage into the second Padawan because in that deck you want to kill your Padawans first. And, um, and then after that he was just he just mitigated everything and then he just dropped all these equipments and just rolled in for massive damage and killed Boba and Snoke tried but he just couldn't come out on top i think snoke had like two guns on him at that point but it still just wasn't enough to there was one two three four five six seven there was like seven dice that he had and every time he'd roll out it'd just be two 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 and i was just like there's nothing when you roll hot like that there's nothing you can do so i was like i just accepted it and i was like good game man i don't think it, he got second place and his only loss was to adam which shout out to adam for winning the event it was his birthday he won with the uh, yoda bosch but other than that no the, the deck plays great um i do think there's a curve even though it's a hyper aggro because it's it's kind of toolbox in a way because you know you're using boba fett um so it's not just as straightforward as i'd like it to be but also with my my personal play style um i like the versatility so uh thanks thank you guys for watching my day profile this is mom peace